So you're riding down the street in your dream vehicle and you see your future self from that point when you've manifested everything you wanted in your life and then you see something and that's another goal, another situation that you find important for your life and you sit back and you look at where you've come and you say for all the doors that have been shut for all the sleepless nights for all the times when it just didn't add up why things were happening the way they were you meet your future self walking and you put that future self in your dream vehicle and you proceed down the highway and you're talking and you're chatting and you're remembering things and you realize this illusion was all because of the fear that you have for yourself that you no longer began to commit to. You started to see the good in everything that was going on, that was transpiring in your life, and now you're at your pivotal moment of bringing your future self back into the dynamic of creating a new goal and a new, and a new desire for yourself. And that's what today's topic is all about. Thank you so much for being here and joining me today on Business Solutions after 2020 pandemic. I am your hostess, Darina Shine, and what I do here on Facebook, on YouTube, is I create uh, business content and inspirational conversations to those new entrepreneurs that have no idea what's going on in the game. So the question is, what are we doing today? to impact our future self so that our future self will thank us, okay? That's what the content is for today. And we would like to give a shout out to our sponsors um, on PayPal and YouTube. Our major sponsor is Universal Blessings, LLC. We thank you so much for being a big part of the new conscious awakening that inspires people to keep believing in who they are. Don't give up on yourself. And blessings um, to our Technology Spiritual Corporation from Northeast Ohio. We thank you as well. God bless, God bless, God bless. So let's talk about doing things for your future self so that your future self will thank you. Here are a few ideas I would love for you to think about and list on your own of how you would thank your future self. Number one, realize that you can do, be, and have anything that your heart desires. That means the dream car, the dream business, the dream hustle, the happy family. Dreaming beyond where your life is at this present moment can help us to secure a future. Because when we realize that we want something, more doors begin opening automatically, and it's never too late to begin the dream. Number two, live your life as though you are going to include every person in every past life situation into the future point of success. This means doing everything on purpose. Yes, we're going to meet people that are going to be a rendition of who we used to be, and we should not dumb ourselves down in order to make them happy. What we need to do is pull them up to our level. If they can't be pulled up to our level, leave them there. Leave them where they exist. Do not try to implement or push someone to be a success. You shouldn't have to do that. Um, and yes, mistakes will be made over and over again. But not to the extent that it is so much of a mistake that our future selves is like, how do we get here? <laughs> you know, our future selves already knows what is going to happen in our mistakes and how we're going to project out of them. Okay. I'm a prime example of that because I had no idea what I was, you know, getting going through when I was dealing with my court situations. I had no idea how this thing was going to pan out, but my future self knew, 
you know, my future self knew what was going on. We're going to make those mistakes. We're going to get ourselves to the point where we're thanking ourselves for changing. We're thanking ourselves for motivating ourselves even in the midst of the darkness. Number three, talk to someone you trust that has an open mind that's going to help you expand and align your future focus. Here, they should only be propelling you forward into the goals you're already setting for yourself. Seeking is, is collaborative to finding. Knocking is collaborative to someone who will eventually open the door and answer the question. Number four, set achievable opportunities. That means travel often. Meet wonderful people that will influence your future chances. Continue assessing the inner greatness of who you are now so that your future self will say, wow, every step that she took, every step that he took is conducive to where they are today. So baby steps versus giant steps. That's what you got to review. Number five, control your ego and make it a point to let the ego know that your future self will honor your present self in the moment of growing. So it's important to know that the ego is watching the growth happen and the ego will constantly comfort you. We have to pull ourselves out of that comfort zone. Those who are comfortable, stop learning. Being true to who you will allow your heart to be at the drum, beating the drum of the universe is how we allow our hearts to beat so that we will go from here to there. Okay, it has to be a rhythm. So from there, all things will resonate towards your future and you will become your greatest universal self and it never stops. You know, these are things that I was taught in high school at graduation commencement. <laughs> you know, so I'm just reverbing them to you because there's nothing new under the sun. So what are your ideas regarding how to grow where your future self will thank you? Um, that's a question today because eventually we will walk into our future moment. And if we're not prepared and if we're not ready, no matter how young or how old, it's just not going to be a good time. So why not make this our best life? Because we have it to live. How are you living it? How are you believing in yourself in order to motivate, move yourself beyond just the normal, basic life challenges and skills sets that we're, we've been born with or that we've practiced for 10 or 20 years? So if you found anything on this podcast to be helpful to your journey, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And if you're interested in a 15-minute free business or success consultation, please contact me at the number in front of you. Or you can email me at scales to success LLC at gmail.com. Thank you so much for participating in this podcast and join us every Sunday right here on YouTube for this, for our business or life solutions programs at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Universal up and we'll see you next time.